Hey, this is John Brock with Brockworks Technologies and Estimator for SketchUp. So I'm back today with a new Estimator 2022 and some of the new features that we've added. I've also got my SketchUp water bottle from Basecamp. Who's going to Basecamp in BC 2022? I'll be there and I'll see you there. All right, so what's new in uh, up there in Estimator? You're gonna see that we've added two new preview windows. We have an open selection view, so it just constantly shows you what you got selected. So you don't have to go run a report every single time if you're a past user of Estimator. And a total estimate window, so you can see what your total estimate is at all times. So two very cool windows, and I've got multiple monitors in here, so I keep my selection view up on one monitor, total estimate on the other view. Uh, but I'll basically show you how that works. So I'll drag over the uh, selection view and I'll pull it somewhere out of the way here. So you can see if I just select an item like this post, I'm seeing that it's a 10 by 10 post and you can collapse all these things as you're viewing them. I could select multiple posts and it's going to give me my quantities and that sort of thing. I could select this railing piece and there's my cost for that. But there's also the total estimate window that looks like this. So that's got all of our costs in there. All right, so you don't have to run a report every time and you can also see whatever you're doing and how it's impacting the bottom line. So you have these two new windows uh, that you can play with. And of course you can cut your margin off. That's gonna reflect over in your total cost if you cut your margin off and on. Uh, but we have that broken out now as well. And for instance, if you're looking at just a selection unit cost type thing, you'd probably want the margin off, okay? So um, those are the two new uh, windows that we have uh, in Estimator um, that will be some time-saving tools so you don't have to uh, go over to, you know, um, to the project tab and run a report or HTML report and that sort of thing. And while we're in here, we also have a couple of things. We had changed our decimal uh, number of decimal places for our European customers but it was putting it out to four decimal places, which was kind of a nuisance for some of us. So we now have in the settings here where you can change your decimal places here. So you know you can go however many you want. I like two. So anyways, those are the new features for Estimator. Please check it out. Let me know if you have any questions or issues or problems, and you can certainly email me at john at estimatorforsketchup.com. Thanks for watching.